Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from House Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some 1-4, actually high 1-4 basketball plays that flow into a 5-out motion offense that will work to confuse the opponent's defense like crazy. That's amazing. Let's, let's check these out. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some really great basketball plays that flow into a motion offense that will help to confuse your, your opponent so that you will be able to score a lot more easier points. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these basketball plays out. So hello everyone. Here we are down on the clipboard, and basically we have the high one for D or offense. Basically, what this is is four players from the free throw line extended, and we have one player up top, which makes it a high one four. If there was, a, if it was a low one four, the four players would be down there. But basically, what we have uh, to start is very something very simple. We're gonna have players four and five setting screens out for players three and two. Players three and two are going to either cut back uh, behind uh, the play or they could cut in front. Uh, personally, I always make sure that my players go and do something opposite of each other. So they're not both cutting behind. They're not both cutting in front. This will allow you to have multiple options. You could have a straight line pass to player three cutting down the middle of the key or you could have an alley-oop to player two going behind the play. So there's a few different options there. So if neither of these players are open, let's say their players fought through and neither of them are open, they're gonna continue out towards the wings and we're gonna have a five out offense, which is very simple. And now you've also spread out the defense, which will allow you to go something like this with a pass and cut and hopefully be open for the layup. Now, I would like to say that uh, basically in the comments below, I will be pinning some five out basketball offenses that you can go check out as well as I will not be explaining too many five outs in this video alone. However, I will be showing you plays from the one four that will be flowing into the five out. Okay, so now we have the two three zone defense and we have the one four offense. What we can do here is something very simple. Players one and Two will be screened from players five and four. Most likely what you're going to be seeing is a double team up top because with a one four, basically what you're, you're not, the two players, this is right in the middle of their zone. So they're going to be double teaming player one. Five and four are both going to be setting double screens on those two players. And player one is going to decide which player he wants to use as a screen. Now, when that happens, this player is going to be cutting down towards the rim and then we're going to be, let's say this is not open. Let's say player five is not open for a layup. Let's say player five was able to cover him somehow. Player five is then going to go and fill out to the other side. Player four is going to pop up top. Player three is going to move there. Player two is going to move down. And we are now in the five out offense. Now the five out works really good against the two, three and three, two zones because by bringing the ball into the middle of the key, like I have explained in other videos, it will collapse the zone, which leaves players open to cut and drive as well as open three point shots, which are absolutely fantastic things to have. So now I'm going to show you the 3-2 zone defense. I have players 4 and 5 popping just a bit higher for this one. The reason is, well, there's no players down here, so they still need a cover for people who want to cut towards the rim. So they're still down a little bit lower. However, they are a bit higher so that they can cover the high post. So what I like to do this, with this is to have player 1 pass to player 4 or player 5, and then once they get that ball, they need to pivot and look at the rim with the ball chest high or higher. And that's going to bring these players up just a bit higher. Now, when that happens, we want player two to cut down towards the baseline because at this time, what's the weak spot on the 3-2 zone defense? That's the weak spot. The reason is because the zones in this defense are here, here, here 
and here. So by having player two move down to those corners, and even play, play even player three moving down to those corners, that's allowing player two to be open for a three-point shot. Or if player five wasn't paying attention and he just moved out to go and guard player two, we now have an open lane for player four, which that's that that will happen maybe once in your life. So don't bet on that one happening. But we could have a quick pass out to player two for a three-point shot, or he could just cut right down towards the rim for a layup as well. So those are all options that can come out of this against the 3-2. I really like running the high 1-4 against the 3-2. However, what how does this how does this work? How does this move into a 5 out? Well, let me show you. Player 4 has that ball. Very simply, if he wasn't open whatever, but let's say he gets that ball. Because we have player 2 moving down, we could have player four take a dribble up, and this could be a dribble handoff for player one. Player one can use that, and player five can pop out, player four can pop out, and now we are in the five out offense. Now I'm going to show you one more basketball play. This is going to get, be against a man-to-man -man defense, and let me show you this one really quickly. What we're going to have is player four, uh, whew, player two, he is going to go and set a screen for player one. Now what's going to happen is player four, he is going to be going and setting a screen also for player two. Player one is going to use that screen. Player two is going to roll towards the rim using player four as a screen. If this team likes to switch, have player four set a screen for player one. If this team doesn't like to switch, have player four set a screen for player two red. Player two blue will then go and cut towards or roll towards the rim and he could be open for that layup. Now, if he is not open for that layup, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have player two fill out to this side. Let's say player two was able to follow him. We're gonna have then have player four go and set a screen for player five and player five is going to go and cut towards the the low block if he's open hit him up for a layup if not he needs to pop out to that three point line and then what we're going to have is player four showing out to the three point line where he could receive the ball and we can run some kind of five out offense which would be either something like a passing cut which would that would be a pass, so he would cut towards the rim, or a pass and screen away, or or something. But again, in the comments below is other five-out offenses that you can run yourself with your team. Now, I hope that these basketball plays have helped your team. If they do, let us know in the comments below. Now, I do post new videos every single day, and... I also post a few different links in the description as well. Something like the Unbeatable Basketball Defense book, which a lot of coaches have absolutely loved. I've got a ton of emails and a ton of comments back about that book as well. Now, if you have liked my videos, go check out the YouTube suggested video on that side. Also, go and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do post new videos every single day. So I will go and see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video. Have a great day. And... Of course, twice a week I do individual skills training on Tuesdays and Thursdays on this YouTube channel as well.